You get 20 racks a month and you got a daughter and your pussy still stink. Nigga gotta beg you to take a bath, bitch. You're not telling bitches the truth. You're making it seem all glitz and glamour and shit like that, but you, you, cause you talking about walking through the mall. What about walking through the fucking clinic door, bitch? Because that nigga with that shit on sixes, because we gotta talk about with, with real people in real life. Real bitches in the street not fucking with the nigga that fly, got a fly the plane and, and all, you a boss and you got this business over here. They fucking with the neighborhood dope boy. And you tell you telling these bitches to get it how they live, and then to my uh be an individual and be yourself. Why in the how in the fuck the fucking for money got to do with how the fuck the going in the mall and, and getting a nigga to buy you some shit and you fuck them that night got to do with being an individual and be your goddamn self, bitch? Did you retarded hoe? Niggas be bitches, they hate when you poppin' Addicted to trappin', I doubt I'ma stop it Phone steady ringin', I'm boomin' so often Probably be juggin' till I'm in a coffin I'ma be workin' so she really worried City so crazy, pray I don't get buried Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast I am A.O. Canseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation And this is If you do not have your Are You Serious t-shirt or your Big Facts Podcast t-shirt, all you do is take $20 to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Make sure that in the PayPal note you include your size, color, Big Facts Podcast, or are you serious, and of, of course your address. Um, also, don't forget we got the Big Facts Podcast Scullies. And the Big Facts Podcast snapbacks. The Scullies for the winner are going for 15. The snapbacks are going for 20, 20 even. Um, please remember um, that PayPal is not the PayPal that you go to to donate. Salute to all my people who donate. Last week was crazy. Um, I don't know what happened or what I said, whatever like that, but it, the donation was crazy. So much so that I'm going to actually, hold on, this is the PayPal that you go to to donate. PayPal.me forward slash Aaron337. But the donation was so crazy that I'm going to read off the donations and the notes. So when you donate, make sure you leave a note. Leave a PayPal note. Say what you need to say. Speak it because I'm going to be reading those at the end of every week. We're going to have the AO Nation donation um, conversation. Uh, shout out to conversation with me, uh, Katrina Gibbs. Make sure you go subscribe to her channel. Um, but... We're gonna, I'm gonna read off, you know, like the person and what they said as my way of showing love because YouTube does not monetize every video that I put up. Also, if you notice, I don't put commercials all through the video and shit like that. I want you to get the video, you know what I'm saying, just rock out, whatever, like that. Um, so when they do monetize, it's on the one commercial, and then when I'm going to ham in a video, they don't monetize the motherfucker. So donations is really what make this shit go around. So I salute everybody in AO Nation who donates weekly, monthly, whatever the fuck it is, man. Showing love. This is how we rocking, man. Um, so be on the lookout for that um, at the end of every week, like Sunday or some shit like that. Uh, also, uh, in January, I have my first college speaking. Um going to be doing the beginning of the spring semester at Georgia State. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the rap trap is going at a big face podcast. It's going there, but what I will be speaking on at the college is the rap trap. Um, they bring me out that motherfucker, and it's a hip-hop and politics class, and I'm going to speak. You know what I'm saying? I just have to work on that faggot shit, because um, that's, that's the only word that I think is going to really get me in trouble. Now, I don't want to be cussing just crazy in that motherfucker either. Um, so, that's crazy right there. Um, also, uh, November 16th, we had uh, regional AMC theaters for the premiere screening of Widows with whatever that nigga name is from Get Out. 
So, Big Fat Podcast will be at Central Page Road on November 16th at 7.45. Fuck with us out there. All right. Uh, is that all the announcements? Rappers. My, I almost got All my rap niggas, uh, if you notice, you know what I'm saying, I've been fucking with some real, real um, heavy artists and shit like that um, in a real way. Um Salute to all my rappers that are actually, you know what I'm saying, moving. I think we finally got the point across that if you hit me up, man, you know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? You know that you're going to be promoted in front of, ain't no telling how many fucking people, but it's way more than what you're being exposed to now. So, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's keep that shit going. Like I said, if you feel like I'm... Trying to get you to commit before you know what's going on. Yeah. Whatever like that, then call it that. But what you do understand is you're a nobody. I'm overweight. I can't lie to myself and say I'm not overweight. Because if I do that, I'm not going to be motivated to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? So at this point in time, as a rapper, you're a fucking nobody. And that's just what it is. Like You can buy your, your views. You can buy your followers and all that shit like that. But when you post some shit... You understand it. It don't get no comments on it. It don't get that many likes. It don't get that many views. Nobody gives a fuck about what you got going on. And if you want that to change, you're going to have to make moves in the right direction. Put money in the right places. And when you have a platform, a genuine platform, that holds its integrity, I'm telling you that if you have mumble rap or you're talking about some homosexual shit, anything that I discourage on the show, I'm not fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, you also know that we have people that watch the show that are in positions to help artists. So with that, I'm telling you that I've found a way to promote artists to where my base price can be a hundred dollars again. So now when you hit me up, make sure you have a hundred dollars to spend. Instead of two hundred, have a hundred dollars. Have a hundred dollars. We've been doing I'm I'm a rock with you. Hundred dollars. Know what I'm saying? I have a package for a hundred dollars now. So we're gonna rock like that. If we keep this shit going like this and this love and we can handle business, I rock with it. But if you do not want to be exposed to this many people, if you all that petty shit you got going on, if you will spend everything on your dope, but then pin and pinch yourself when it comes to promoting what you want to get paid for, my nigga, stay where you at. I don't want to negotiate or none of that bullshit, my nigga. If you want to get seen and get your shit where it need to be put at, holler at me. But if you want to play them fucking faggot games, go the fuck over there. Do not hit me up until you know you want to be promoted. Let's keep the shit rolling, man. All right. What we have is, um, is a group called the City Girl. They're from Miami. Um, one of the bitches' name is JD or JT. And one of the bitches' name is Miami. Extremely unique. Um, what they are is exactly what the system in white America think of when they think of black women. When they think of black women, they are the exact, you know what I'm saying, stereotype. We no fucking words, no vocabulary, scheme, this treacherous, zero self-awareness, oblivious of the future and just everything. Um, extremely uh, insecure with themselves. This is why you won't see them without makeup. And without someone else's hair on their head. You know, I just found out that bitches are covering their hair with someone else's hair. I thought that weave was just fake, like you know, like yarn or some shit like that. They cut bitches' hair in Brazil and China and shit like that and send it over here and they put it on their head. Like, how is that not saying that someone else is superior to you? How can you not see that as, and then, if you compare, if your gold standard is white women, then already, like, obviously, we have an issue there. 
like you feel like white girls are better than you because you compare yourself to them when you say white girls do it too. What? Why in the fuck? Why didn't you say Mexican girls or Asian girls? Why in the fuck did you go straight to white hoes do it too? Because that's the gold standard to you. Because that's that's your that's your first response. White hoes do it. Why the fuck would you say that? That blew me. Like I'm covering up my hair with another. Take, cut your hair off, and I'm going to put it in my shit. Because my shit is ugly. Why else would you cover it? No one else covers their head with someone else's hair. All day. If a white bitch might put some shit on, it's for an, an event. And then it's over with. Bitch, you put this shit on for months. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. This is how you rocking. And that's what the fuck they want to be promoted. I swear to God, dog. The fucking hair industry is in with the goddamn golf course, dog. Them motherfuckers is on that goddamn golf course, man. And if you don't know what the golf course means, go back in the goddamn archive so you can understand all the people that are paying the music industry, the, the top people in the music industry to keep it the way it is and what to, like, what to promote. They're telling them what to promote. Um, what I stumbled upon was a fucking video of, um, <laughs> one of the members of the group, her name is Miami, and, like I said, they just, they just, they just, the, the, the new version of BAPS, just the new version of BAPS, just, BAPS reincarnate. If you don't know what BAPS is, get the fuck off the channel. Or do your research. Like, that's all the fuck it is. Just, hey, girl, hi, yeah, and what, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's all the fuck it is. Like, and that's what America needs. And they got on with QC, uh, obviously, because they fuck everybody in QC, whatever, like, they just like a gang initiation, because they can't rap for a motherfucker. Like, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's not about music, y'all. You're on the breakfast club. You're on the breakfast club, man. You can't rap a lick. This bitch gave up. I'm, I'm encouraging you to go watch this goddamn, the whole interview. And listen to what the fuck she's saying, how she sounds, just like a child. There's parts of it that I want to highlight. What are you doing? The fuck are you doing? You gotta watch this motherfucker. But listen to this shit. If I ask you, are you petty, then you petty. You don't buy them back, nothing back, though? You got money now. Now, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But back then, hell no. I ain't, buy, I ain't buy nothing. You want me. So you ain't gonna buy nothing back? So how is it hard not to, like... What they're talking about is, um, she, she told, she told them, um, what she does. First off, she told them, I was trying to be an Instagram model before the rap shit popped off. So she's a prostitute. She was trying to, you know, bitches are actively trying to be Instagram models. I.E. prostitutes. You know what I'm saying? Everything is now microwaved. Uh, is I can't say that word. Um... An uh, Instagram model is an actual thing. Like, you can get booked at a club from being Lyra Galore and shit like that. Like, these bitches are like baseball cards. Uh, Drake will tell Ross, hey, man, I got goddamn Lyra Galore. Oh, shit, I trade you Lyra Galore for goddamn, um, what the bitch name is, um, that T.I. was fucking with. Bernice Bur Burgos, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I trade you Bernice for goddamn Black China. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just like, and, and they don't mind it because this is the type of shit they own. She said, when I meet a dude, whatever like that, I'll tell him to buy me a Chanel bag and shit like that. Like, you a boss, that shouldn't be shit. Like, this is the average mind. And my nigga, I want you to listen to this shit. This, this, this they're plank dog. If you don't understand... Listen to what the fuck going on. If you buy this bitch some shit, it's game. It's game. She's saying, it shouldn't be shit if you a boss. That's game. I, and I, I have to say it, like, because 
you may not know. That's game. Behind your back, what she says to her friends is, oh, I just had to, you know what I'm saying? Watch. Go back to your old ways when dealing with these industry dudes. Because you say they're an easy lick. You know you can finesse them. So how you know how do you stop yourself from doing that? I don't want to do that no more. Because now I feel like I got something to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want everybody just like, yeah, I was talking to your Miami. I just got that. You know, I just did that. Got up out of that. It's like, nah, it's like, you got to go 10 times higher. Now I got my money up. I'm straight. Like, mm -hmm. what you going to do? I want a house now. And then you're surrounded by a bunch of men that's going to be on your ass. You don't want to hear that. Right. About you being all, mm -hmm. spreading it all out in the industry. Listen. The bitch is so dumb. Like, she's so dumb. She can't even hear what the nigga is saying to her. P don't want to hear about you spreading it all out amongst the industry. A person with a, a, a brain would say, hold up, I'm not fucking these niggas. I'm not fucking these niggas. I ain't, I'm spreading what around? Hold on. Watch what she says. Every time I think I want to talk to somebody, I'm like, he gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Pete now. Like, what you doing? I ain't got time for that. Listen. Now, I read your article in Billboard. You said you're not telling women to fuck for money, but that's what it sounds like. So, what's the message? No, the message is to just be an individual. Just be yourself. That's all I'm saying. Like, people be scared to be they self. Katrina Gill. I, I need for, get down, get down. I gotta talk to him. Get down, bitch. Katrina Gibbs, I need for you to do a, a, a show on this. I need I need for you to speak to the women on this. Because I'm speaking to the niggas. I need you to speak to the hoes on this. You've spoken about nothing ass bitches before and shit like that. Speak on this right here. Because this bitch was asked a direct question. I read your article in the New York Times. What the fuck is... Just by listening to those little words she said, can you imagine a reason that she would be in the New York fucking Times? What reason would she be in the New York Times? And it's that, it's that, that whole bap shit. You know what I'm saying? Comedy. Black gold. You know what I'm saying? You won't you won't find love and hip hop, uh, uh, housewives of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Just any way you want to go, like they're fucking entertainment fucking galore. The nigga just said you telling hoes to fuck for money, man. Bitch, you just said you want me. That's why you'll buy me this, this, and this. But see, this is what I don't like. Because you saying the the Chanel bag and and the, and the offended person shit like that, but you're not talking about when you get back to the room and this nigga gotta take three Cialis. You gotta watch. You gotta make sure this nigga don't die. How his eyes get real fucking big and shit like that, and he look like he on crack. How you gotta fight through like you in the bedroom having to. Find a way to make yourself get wet with something that you don't even want to touch you. You have to suck and fuck a... Because she's talking about an old man. Listen to the interview. A 65-year-old man, you have to suck and fuck him. Not, not, not to... This bitch has a child... Not one time did you hear that bitch say, uh, "I'm gonna go uh, uh, go over here and and, and, and buy uh uh and let's put some money down on, on the children's college fund. Let's let's go over here and uh get the kids a swing set, a basketball goal. This bitch said it's a nail bag, man. This bitch is raising some fucking body." Who do you think that child is going to be? Another fucking rap nigga talking about it was hard. We had it hard coming up, but I still made it. Had it hard coming up. We ain't have shit. No one thinks about it. Why in the fuck didn't you have shit? We ain't have shit. Mama had another son. Got a new sister coming home. Hold on. 
She didn't have shit when she had you, and she had a, a another son, and you you had another sister. So she had two more kids after you already didn't have shit, and you was in a project. That's what, that's why I say it should be a law if you're giving if you're getting any kind of fucking assistance, child support, welfare, food stamps. You should not be allowed to fucking have kids. One kid, meaning. One kid, I made a mistake, government helped me, I right, government help, whatever like that. You got a nigga on child support, you cannot run that game again. You have another child, it's all on you. Because you knew what you were getting yourself into. You was fucked up by yourself, first of all, bitch. Now you have a child. You don't got no car, you don't got shit, but that's the come up. Because off that child, you done pulled a black china. Getting 20 racks a month. And you steady and bitch your pussy still stink, ho. You getting 20 racks a month and you got a daughter and your pussy still stink. Nigga gotta beg you to take a bath, bitch. You not telling bitches the truth. You making it seem all glitz and glamour and shit like that, but you, you, cause you talking about walking through the mall. What about walking through the fucking clinic door, bitch? Because that nigga with that Chev on sixes, because we gotta talk about with, with real people in real life. Real bitches in the street not fucking with the nigga that fly, got fly the plane and and all. Uh, you a boss and you got this business over here. They fucking with the neighborhood dope boy. And you tell you telling these bitches to get it how they live, and then to my uh, be an individual and be yourself. Why in the how in the fuck the fucking for money got to do with how the fuck the going in the mall and, and getting a nigga to buy you some shit and you fuck them that night got to do with being an individual and be your goddamn self, bitch? You retarded hoe. But uh, uh, the little girl can't see that though. The little girl see you got you got signed the QC. You on the Breakfast Club, you got a number one goddamn album, and this and this hot uh, probably number one fucking single, and this whole made one song. Listen to the goddamn interview. And you on this bitch, and you got your you got another bitch here just flowing in the wind. You got your whole face, you painted another bitch face on top of your face. This this bitch on. I need to listen to what the fuck she's saying. This nigga asked you. You told the New York Times that you're not telling hoes to be prostitutes, but you just explained to us, you ask a, a random nigga that you caught in your thirst trap, you caught a nigga in your thirst trap by taking naked pictures, which means uh, you want me. I want to fuck you, bitch. What we're doing in the mall is negotiating the price to get the fuck you, bitch. Wrong. I'm not buying no Chanel bag and no goddamn Fendi purse or no and, and no goddamn uh whatever kind of belt, bitch, to wear no fucking rubber. Bitch, I'm, I'm fucking this raw, ho. All kind of ways, and I'm busting all in your mouth. You better, bitch, I, I wish the fuck you would spit it out, bitch. You swallow that, ho, and you don't have no say-so. You gave that power up when, when you went to Philippe Childs. You gave that, that option up. Everything I'm buying, that's a new section. All right, Fendi purse, that's missionary. Uh, Gucci belt, all right, that's from the back. Philippe Child, that's head. Uh, extra sauce, all right, that's nothing in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? We just keep going down the line however you want it. And now you're trying to, a wig. I, I asked for a wig and shit like that. You nothing ass bitch. And these motherfuckers allowed you to say that shit on their goddamn platform. And you motherfuckers at the breakfast club swear to God that you for the betterment of the black community. You ain't said a goddamn thing. And why the fuck is Angelique, Angelique so goddamn quiet? And I'm going to tell you something else. And see, I got to do a whole fucking video about the goddamn breakfast club. Because they been doing some weird ass shit, man. I said they were part of the rap trap, and I was, I was hoping I was wrong, man, but it's starting to look like you motherfuckers is all for that shit, man. This bitch said selling, being a prostitute means being yourself. Listen to this goddamn hoe. 
itself. People always got to feel like they need to pretend. Mm -hmm. It's just about being confident. I'm just saying, you ain't got to fuck for money, but if you're talking to a guy, just at least get something. Save your money and spend his. That's all Save I'm saying. Save your money and spend his. I, 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 I tell women that all the time. Right, you know what I'm saying? Listen to it now. Spend his money and save his. The bitch just... Hey, bitch. Hey, listen. Saki. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. Sit the fuck down. Spend his money and save yours. My nigga, I need for you to listen to what this hoe is saying. And please do not think for a second, dog. That that bitch on Instagram is any fucking different. These hoes is all the same. These bitch, it, an Instagram hoe will look at this video right now that I'm making and be like, oh, I ain't nothing like that. I'm trying to tell you, my nigga, if she, if she has pictures in a bathing suit on social media, she's a fucking prostitute, my nigga. If she has any pictures from the back, my nigga, if she look like a prostitute, she is a fucking prostitute, my nigga. Ask that bitch what it's hidden for. Listen, Big Face Podcast, Katrina, do this video. Hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute, dog. Breakfast Club, I'm on y'all ass. Tay now.